right, tonight as we talk about your health, our topic is somewhat controversial. A new study says if you are over the age of 40, you should avoid triathlons. Even hardcore triathletes say that's a big lie. Here to shed some light on the issue is Dr. Mitchell Goldman from UCSD. Dr. G, always good to see you on this Tuesday. And it's good to see you too. So I know you are quite the athlete. Do you do, do triathlons as well? No, I'm just a you're cyclist. Just, you're just a cyclist. But you certainly have a vested interest because cycling obviously is one of the big parts of a triathlon besides the running and the swimming. Give me your thoughts on this study or, or maybe explain it first. Well, a study sometimes can be a little bit overstated, and this one is too. Now, let's understand that there's about 11 million triathletes in the United States, and about 59 actually died during triathlons. Most of the deaths in a triathlon occurs during the swim event, mm -hmm. and that's when, when you're swimming and people are like all on top of you and your face is in the water. You've got a lot of big adrenaline rush, and if there's any problems with your heart physiology, that's going to cause a heart attack. So the swim is the most critical part and the most dangerous part of a triathlon. But let's, uh, let's get something straight. Triathlons or triathletes uh -huh. are very in very good shape. Like any of us, if we think something's wrong, if we are having chest pain, shortness of breath, we need to see our physicians. So it's very important. Yeah, I know I have a very good girlfriend who does triathlons, and I'm always amazed at her athletic ability. So why do you think in this study, though, it says those over 40? I mean, I know plenty of people over the age of 40 who are in great physical yeah. health. Well, you know, it's funny. They call men between 40 and 49 mammals. It's <laughs> men who, who wear, men athletes who wear lycra. And so, and it's, it's, it, <laughs> is, funny. it is there. And what happens is the study showed that men were more likely than women to succumb, to get mm -hmm. a heart attack during a triathlon. Um, and men over 40 were more common. But let's look at, at triathletes. Most triathletes are actually over 40 these mm -hmm. days, and especially the endurance triathletes. Now let's break it down to the run, the swim, and the, and and the, the bike. And the bike. Mm -hmm. So we already know the swim is the most important. Mm -hmm. But biking actually is really good. A study that was done in Spain took 800 people that were Tour de France cyclists. Tour okay. de France is actually going on right now. Yes, it is. And they basically <laughs> compared them against age match control. And the Tour de France cyclists, and that's the, about the most endurance of, event you can get, uh -huh. lived on average eight years longer than non-Tour de France cycl uh, cyclists. Okay. So cycling, exercise, really a good thing to do. Okay. All right. Um, before I let you go, Dr. G, I want to get to a couple um, tips you have for uh, triathletes. If, again, you mentioned, you know, if they feel chest pain, well, what are some other things that they should look out for or potentially contact their doctor if they are racing? Well, most important thing, of course, is hydration. You have to stay hydrated. Um, we have a number of tips on, on this screen, but it, essentially the reason a triathlete will develop a problem is from damaging the heart and tearing the heart and causing scar tissue. And that's from really a lot of exertive exercising. Again, you mix that with the adrenaline rush of a, of a swim mm -hmm. with people climbing all over you with heads submerging into the water, and that produces an electrical imbalance in the heart which can cause problems. Again, if you have any symptoms, see your doctor. But athletes usually are in better shape than non-athletes. Right. It's always that adage of uh, pay attention to your body. You know it best. Dr. G, always good to see you. Thank you so much.